Welcome to this interesting question. Given to us is a square and angle FAE is given as 45 degrees. Area of triangle GAH that's 8 cm square. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find area of quadrilateral EFGH. Let's check the solution. The full angle A that's 90 degree out of which this angle is 45 degrees. Thus the sum of remaining angles that is this angle plus this angle that will be 45 degree. Now if we'll check the triangle AEB. Now this triangle let's rotate it 90 degree anti-clockwise and align the side AB with side AD. Let's check the solution. Here these two angles together they form 45 degrees. Now if we'll check the triangle AE-F and triangle AEF. So in these two triangles the length AE- dash that will be equals to AE because this triangle ADE- dash it's made from this triangle ABE only and the length AF is common between them thus by side angle side both the triangles are congruent to each other as the triangles are congruent thus the corresponding angles will be equal so here we can say angle E dash that will be equal to angle E and this angle F here if we'll assume it as beta degrees then this remaining angle will be beta degrees and in this triangle if we'll check so alpha plus beta plus 45 that is 180 degrees now we know that in a square the angle between side and diagonal that angle is 45 degrees and as sum of these angles is 180 so here this remaining angle that will be alpha degrees these are vertically opposite so this angle will be alpha degrees now in triangle AGH and this bigger triangle AEF we have got two angles 45 degree and alpha and 45 degree and alpha Thus by angle angle similarity these two triangles are similar to each other and we know that when two triangles are similar then the ratio of their areas that is equal to square of ratio of their sides or square of ratio of their heights or altitudes. So let's find the altitudes for both the triangles first for triangle AGH let's draw the diagonal AC first. We know that in a square the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So this angle is 90 degree and if the let's assume the side length of square is a centimeter then the length of diagonal that is root 2a and the length am that will be half of it or a by root 2. Now let's check the height of this bigger triangle. Let's assume this height is an. Now we know that this triangle AEF and AE-F they are congruent to each other and thus the corresponding heights will be equal and for this triangle the height is AD and we know if side length is A then this AD will also be A centimeter and thus AN that's A centimeter. So putting these values here area AGH that's given as 8 centimeter square this small h is a by root 2 capital H is a so putting these values here <coughs> now solving it both numerator and denominator a is getting cancelled out so this will be 1 by root 2 and square of it will be 1 by 2 and simplifying it will get area of triangle AEF that's full triangle area that is 16 centimeter square and area of this quadrilateral EFGH that will be 16 minus 8 or 8 centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then tata bye bye.